Hello friends! Welcome to my weekly vlog. I figured I would try to do this going into the new year. We'll see how long it lasts. But I just got done filming a makeup look with this eyeshadow that will be up very soon on my channel. You guys, these eyeshadows are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I love them. Look at this look. Look how sparkly that is. Oh my goodness, I love it. But um, we are getting ready to go down to Walmart to get some painter's tape to finish up our DIY project in the kitchen. And I figured I would start this today so you guys could kind of see how we got um, our kitchen looking the way it is. It looks totally different and I can't wait to show it to you. So let's get into it. So for those of you who do not remember what our kitchen looked like when we um, first got here, I'll go ahead and insert a clip of that. And what we did yesterday, that's my husband moving things around in the background. Um, what we did yesterday is tape off and paint it up. So let me flip you around. This is what it looks like now. So we hung a different light up here and the brick is all hand painted or airbrushed because my husband is an artist. So it goes all the way to the corner and then we have this wall that he's currently taping off left to do and we are going to try to do that today. Um, we do have to get some more of the, whew, there it is, the tape up there. We don't have that size to get, so we're going to go get that. And I will show you guys how we hand paint brick. And by we, I mean my husband, because I don't paint. So let's get into it. So to get the brick pattern, first we put the tape across and then we use this paint tray here as a spacer of how much we want the bricks and then as you can see he's doing the downward pattern to actually make the bricks. It's actually pretty cool. I use different size tape to get a little bit of variation. Yeah, so the white tape is a different size than the blue tape, so it gives the bricks a little bit of variation because, you know, bricks are never perfect, right?
So the first thing we do after taping it off is take a sponge and put down a base coat. For us, we decided to just do an antique white base coat that we got from Walmart because it was easy <laughs> and cheap. So that's the first base coat that we do. And that is what he's doing right now. Next we're gonna use some tan, and that's just gonna add a little bit of texture to it. This is just basically acrylic paint. You can get it at Hobby Lobby. Iraqi sand is what we're using. So it's just that little bit. You do not need a lot for this one. Just put it on the sponge. And you want to do a random pattern. So this is about what it looks like when he's done with the tan coloring. And you guys, I know it's looking funky, but trust the process. This is what my husband tells me all the time. Right, baby? That's right. <laughs> Next color we're gonna put on is black gray. Again, just some, some basic acrylic paint. Again, we are not using that much in the slightest for this. This is just going to give a little bit of variation. And again, he's going in a random pattern. Now, it does drive me crazy, but I did help with this area that we have already done, you guys, but where he is working is such a small space, he gets to do this wall on his own. So this polka dotted pattern that he's doing really, really thick today, <laughs> is about what you're wanting when you are wanting to do a um, brick pattern. I will say, you guys, you do not have to use these colors. We are doing the gray mortar because our wall was painted gray to start with, so that's why we're doing it. Most bricks do a gray brick and a white, like, spaces in between. We just happen to do it the other way, so. But this is our nice polka dotted wall. Doesn't it look lovely? You're doing great, baby. Thank you. Next color. So after you do the tan and the black, it is, white. it is time to go back to the same white that we used as the base coat. And again, that's the like antique white just it's a pre-mixed color they sell at Walmart, you guys. It's it's nothing grand. It's like $15. But he's going to take the bigger sponge again and just go back over it very lightly so that black and brown kind of peek through just a little bit.
So this is kind of the part you can personalize for yourself. He's doing another coat because it was a little bit more splotchy than we had previously done the other wall. However, if you want it to be really like texturized and have a lot of character, you can leave it less. Um, you don't have to, what am I trying to say? You don't have to cover it as thickly as we are currently doing right now. We're trying to get it to more match the other walls and they're splotchy, yes. Right, that's a word, right? Okay, cool. So this is kind of what it will look like once you are done painting over it. Now you guys realize please that we do have a yellow kind of light going right there. So it does look a little off, but that's just because of the lighting that is in here. And then the next part is the fun part. So once you pull all the tape off, it's gonna look like this. Now there are some spots, oh, as I run into a chair. If you look close enough, you'll see that the um, uh, tape actually took off some of the background and the paint. But for the most part, besides a little spot up there, and down by where our radiator is, and it's actually a working radiator. Um, so that's probably why it did that. But my wonderful husband is going to do some weathering. Now you could leave it like this. However, not a lot of places do bricks that are perfect squares, um, especially older bricks. So if you want it to look a little older, you're going to have to go through and weather up the edges. So this is what it looks like with the paint just coming off and you can totally leave it like this. It is gorgeous the way it is. It's got a nice marbly effect to it. Um, I like it like that. I just like it to look a little bit old, kind of like the house. So let's get to the weathering portion. Okay, so our last step here is going to be, sorry, you hear the air compressor going down there, but he actually airbrushes using a black paint around each, um, around each brick, giving it a little bit of depth and dimension. And then he will go through and take where the white, where it peeled off the paint, he actually will just use it and kind of weather it up just a bit, make it look a little bit more the age we're looking for, if you will. So that is the final step for us and what we are currently doing. And I gotta say, it's looking really good, babe. Thank you. This section is done, this section is not. Yeah, this section is done, this section is not. So he says this section over here is done and the other is not. So you can kind of see how these bricks look like they kind of sink in and stick out a little bit, whereas those are kind of just flat. So. And 
And please don't mind the mess over here to the corner because, well, we're in the middle of trying to do a little organization for our kitchen. And so, of course, it's a mess. Because when you organize, don't things get messy before they get better? Right? You guys, this is it. It is done. And this is what it looks like. I think he did a fantastic job with it. And I'm sure you guys are wondering what in the world that big hole is right there. Um, I did, well, it was more my husband's idea, but since we have the windows and the door here, we got this um, decoration, if you will, from Hobby Lobby. And I just got some uh, leaves and taped it to the back. And we are going to hang that up where that is. Should give it a little bit of a pop of color over there. But that will be the final touch. So that's it. That is a painted brick wall for you. And this is the final product. Minus the pot that's on top of the radiator for like moisture in the air. But this is the final product, you guys. I think this looks fantastic. And the little um, decoration there makes it kind of perfect and it now tidies in, excuse the mess, we haven't cleaned up yet, but it now tidies in with the whole kitchen. So definitely, definitely an improvement. So yeah, you guys, next time you're thinking about doing brick, try painting it. It's not that bad. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. He's straightening that up because he's a perfectionist, but the wall is done. It just took a little bit longer than I thought to film. So we're gonna go ahead and call it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, if you would like, comment, and subscribe, it really does help us out. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.